Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Uh, how are we all doing? Uh, hopefully you're all keeping well, keeping safe throughout this time that's going on at the moment. Uh, today's another video really, just off the cuff, just having a bit of a conversation really with you. Um, first of all, before I begin, I just want to show you that little thing behind me. I'll show a little photo and now somewhere here. Uh, after three years living in the country, I, I finally climbed a mountain yesterday, uh, Dubong San. I, I, I climbed and uh, I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. Now, uh, some tips for you if you're going to climb a mountain. Uh, don't do what I did and drink a load of beer the night before because um, climbing a mountain hungover is not the nicest thing in the world. Take it from me, honestly. Um, I threw up three times going down the mountain. Going up, I was all right. Uh, these days, my hangovers are crawling hangovers. They, they, they get worse as, as the day progress, progresses. Um, yeah, I threw up three times coming down. And at one point, uh, I sat down and lay down on a rock and um, I fell asleep for half an hour on the way down. Uh, my advice, don't, don't ever do a mountain hunger. It, it's not nice, it, it's not pleasant in the slightest. But anyway, uh, I got that done and uh, I'm already thinking about doing another mountain next week because I really enjoyed it, it was fantastic, really great experience. Did it on my own, didn't do it with anybody, just did it all by myself, it's solo, nice, therapeutic, just walked, you know, enjoyed the wilderness, enjoyed the wildlife, it was beautiful, really, really nice. Now anyway, today's video is not about mountains. Today's video is actually talking about uh, getting back to normal here in Korea. Now, today on Sunday, the 19th of April, uh, I've got a little date on my watch, that's why I did that. Um, on the 19th of April, we had eight cases today. Two coming from, five of them were people coming back home and like two people in quarantine. So like, I think only someone like four people or three people in Korea have got it in Korea. So um, it, it's getting back to normal here now. Now, the reason why I'm saying about getting back to normal is uh, hopefully soon the football, is going to start again soon, very soon, maybe two weeks, maybe three at push. Uh, and the KBO, the Korean baseball, is going to start again. Now, I've actually got more of a question than a bit of a like a, a talk today, actually. It's, um, will Korean culture and Korean things be more influence, influential towards the world? We've seen it with the football now, with the Belarusian League um, being played at the moment. There's only like two leagues being played in the moment with football, that is. And everyone's like on Twitter watching these teams from Belarus. I think Turkmenistan's the other league. Now, it sounds like Korea's going to be the, the third league that's going to be open. So there'll only be like three or four leagues in the world. And the K League's going to be one of them. Now, be, me being a writer, me being a Seoul Elan fan, that's exciting. That people from the States, people from the UK are all going to be following like Korean football, hopefully the profile of it now that's something that excites excites me a little bit wish i could speak english you'd think i was an english teacher now um also that that's just my little expectation when it comes to football but with the actual uh baseball itself apparently the gears are running to to get it streamed around the world anyway apparently this week it came out that espn are looking to hold some kbo games to put to be streamed on american television that's exciting that's really exciting. Now, um, if you're an MLB fan or you're a fan of uh, American baseball, Canadian baseball, um, and you've never seen Korean baseball, obviously the first thing is like Korean football. The standard is not the same as MLB, clearly not. But when you start watching the games here, you'll understand why people love it so much. Like the crowds are chanting, the crowds are singing for every single player. You can have your chicken, your beer, you can have any food you want in the stadium. It's, it's a party really for three hours. I actually really enjoy going to the baseball. Uh, I liked baseball before I came to Korea. I was one of them like English people who liked a bit of baseball anyway. But uh, yeah, I do like it and my team is LG Twins. Uh, I've got to get it out of there straight away. But yeah, no, it's interesting to see what will happen now will more korean sports and concerts will start happening again here will korean influences and korean culture really be emerged amongst the world like because obviously if all eyes are back on korea watching how what we're doing our normal life and it's streamed around the world it could raise the profile of south korea quite a lot you now obviously everything that's happened this year in 2020 it's shown that korea can handle with a massive pandemic Pandemic, but I'm talking about things less serious. I'm talking about things just like, you know, like, as I said, the sports, the concerts, you know, people in the daily lives, you know, it really opens doors to people to think, wow, this is a fantastic country. Do you know, uh, people say there's a lot of things wrong with this country. No country's perfect, you know what I mean? I have a few things that, that, that I wish 
were a little bit better, mostly around visas. But apart from that, uh, this is basically saying, look, I'm happy here. This is one of the greatest places I've been. You know, uh, it's easy saying as a foreigner, do you know what I mean? If, if you move to Germany, you're a foreigner, it's, it's a great experience. If you move to, I don't know, South Africa, you know, it, it doesn't matter what the country is. If you've moved there, you've got a completely new experience, completely new life. So it, it, I can understand how it's tainted your idea a bit. So, um, it was just a quick video really just saying that uh, here's a question for you more than like a little conversation today do you think korean culture would be more influential amongst the world because dead i feel like korea's doors are going to open before anybody else's at this rate the way that the that the, the word is getting uh, dealt with in this country so um yeah please guys if i've just rambled for five and a half minutes please tell me if i've just rambled for five and a half minutes but it was just an updated video uh, still in work still working hard ish <laughs> so uh yeah any comments concerns thoughts give a like give a comment and i'll see you in the next one and i forgot to say this in the last one so i'll do it now just relax